Hi everyone, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a dev drive in Windows 11. Dev drive is a new type of storage volume designed specifically for developers. It operates within the framework of Windows security, bypassing security checks that can otherwise hinder performance. As a result, dev drive partition are automatically trusted by Windows security software leading to a notable increase in performance. Before we get started, make sure you are running the latest version of Windows 11 as the dev drive feature is part of the recent builds. You also need to have a compatible drive like an SSD for the best performance. Open Settings application. Click on Storage, expand the Advanced Storage Settings and click Disk and Volumes. Click on the Create Dev Drive button and follow the prompts to create a dev drive. There are three options, create new VHD, resize an existing volume and use unallocated space. The unallocated space option will only appear if you have previously set up unallocated space in your storage. In the previous video, we used a physical disk to set up a dev drive. This time, we will use a virtual disk. Storing your dev drive in a VHD may have slightly lower performance due to the overhead of managing the virtual disk layer. The trade-offs are that VSDs offer more flexibility for dynamic resizing, moving or backing up the data. I will use the Create New VHD option as an example to demonstrate the creation process. After selecting Create New VHD, click Next. Give a name to this virtual disk. Now choose a location to store the virtual hard disk. Click on Browse. Click on this PC. Access the C drive and create a folder named VHD to store the virtual hard disk. Let's select the folder. Specify the size you want for the drive. You will want to ensure it has enough space to store all your development files. Choose whether to use a classic VHD or VHDX format. VHDX format is generally better. Choose whether to use a fixed size drive or a dynamically expanding one. In this example, I'm going with VHDX and dynamically expanding virtual disk. Click create to create the virtual disk. The disk has been created successfully. Now select the GPT option to assign a partition style to the drive. Click the initialize button. Now this wizard will guide us to create new dev drive in this Windows 11 system. First, specify the label drive later and size allocation for the dev drive. Here I have set devval1 as the label and the drive later E has been selected. You can specify the size based on the available free space on the selected disk. In this example, we are using the maximum size which is 50 GB. When ready, click the format button. After completing the steps, the dev drive will be created with RFS file system. Let's verify that. Open File Explorer and click on this PC. Verify that the dev drive with drive letter E has been successfully created. That's how you can create a dev drive in Windows 11 using virtual hard disk. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a tutorial. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.